I was first diagnosed with cancer at 15 and was treated at Children's and went into remission for about a little over a year and then it came back. Went through the whole thing again, was in remission for probably a little under a year and then my body quit responding to treatment and they sat me down and told me that, you know, I had three months to live and that um, my only option for treatment was the study. After I received my T cells, it was nine days later, I was in remission and I'm over six years cancer free now. Greta was diagnosed with leukemia when she was three months old. Um, and she had a bone marrow transplant using her sister's marrow when she was um, eight months old. And then she relapsed at 13 months old. We're from Portland, so we came up here to Seattle and she got her T-cells five years ago and she's been in remission ever since. When we found out that Jed um, had treatment resistant cancer, uh, literally would have gone anywhere and actually started to look. I mean, I needed to know where I could take him because he, he was gonna make it if we went to China. But we didn't have to, because we live in the Pacific Northwest by Children's Hospital, where eventually, at some point, they're going to cure pediatric cancer. They just will, and I have 100% confidence in that, and I know that because of what they've done for my son. It's exciting to live in the Northwest and know that they're doing the work here in the Building Cure that are gonna save kids all over the world. This was kind of the only option that looked good for Greta, so it kind of means everything to us. I think this building just goes to show that there's gonna be a lot more families celebrating in the future. This building to me, it's really exciting because I guess when I started off, I didn't know what the T-cell study even was. And then it was like when it worked on me, it was such a big deal that it was like, oh my gosh, it worked. And then to see that it's like expanded this much, it's extremely exciting and it means a lot to me. I am now able to go outside more and hang out with friends and not be as worried as I was before when I was really sick and really confined. Being in the hospital for so long, you want to be able to do those things and not feel left out. So it's a really good feeling. I'm thankful for Seattle Children's, thankful for the research. I can't honestly imagine my world without this guy. Because of the CAR T-cell study, I'm alive and I'm able to live a normal life like anybody else. And some days, it's hard for me to even believe that I ever had cancer. That's how normal I feel.